being founded on October 1st, 1949. So here, for the 67th time, the people of China perform their stately rituals on their state-appointed holiday to salute the stately flag and do the usual worship and genuflecting towards the symbols of the state in the usual meaningless manners, as I'm sure everyone around the world can relate to with their own national days. But this one might actually be somewhat more important than the others, because uh, this day, October 1st, 2016 doesn't just mark the 67th National Day of China. It also marks the day that the new SDR basket is launched with the Chinese renminbi, aka the yuan, as part of that valuation basket. Now, for people who have no idea what the special drawing right SDR is, well, you're in luck. I have an article on that subject, Meet the SDR, the Global Reserve Currency, question mark, from June of last year. And for people who don't understand, don't know about the saga of the yuan inclusion in the IMF's uh, SDR basket, I also wrote an article about that last December. The Chinese yuan is now an IMF reserve currency. Here's what it means. So please follow the links in the show notes for this uh, video for both of those articles to get read up on the background of this, but I have just released a brand new article, SDR World Order, that compiles the information about this SDR change that is happening right now and what it really means and what it means potentially for the future. And this is so important. As I was putting this information together for this article, it knocked me from my horse. Once again, I was overwhelmed by the knowledge that this is truly a key building block in the construction of global government. Not the inclusion of the yuan in the SDR valuation basket itself, but also that in connection with a little noticed and far underreported story from last month, uh, actually August now, in historic event, China sells first World Bank issued SDR denominated bonds in decades. And the settlement of uh, the currency settlement for that was in Yuan. It was issued in China by the IBRD, one of the five member institutions of the World Bank. So the World Bank is now issuing SDR denominated bonds in China. And that is significant because SDR bonds have been floated before uh, late, in the late 70s, early 80s. The last issue was in uh, 1981. That was 35 years ago. Why are they bringing back SDR-denominated bonds right now? Well, in this article, I actually have links not only to the... Uh, the well, I don't want to say famous because it certainly isn't, but it has been quoted before. The uh, essay from uh, Zhou uh, Xiaochuan, the governor of the People's uh, Bank of China back in 2009, which was entitled simply Reform the International Monetary System, in which he said quite clearly the SDR has the features and potential to act as a super sovereign, so super sovereign reserve currency. Couldn't put it much more blatantly than that. But I also include a link to an extremely important article that was penned six years ago now, an essay that was penned as part of a conference convened by, guess who, the Bank for International Settlements. Yes, that Bank for International Settlements. The European Central Bank and the World Bank, they brought together 80 central bankers, wealth fund managers, pension fund managers, who were hobnobbing at this event at the BIS headquarters in Basel, which, for the record, is its own territory. It is not subject to the rules and laws of Switzerland. Keep that in mind. But anyway, at the BIS headquarters, they convened this summit six years ago, and one of the papers was specifically about how to bring about uh, Shou Zhao Chuing's, uh, Zhao Chan's uh, idea of SDR as a global currency, how to actually implement that. And their idea was SDR-denominated securities in official and private portfolios, aka SDR bond issues. This is part of a plan that was put in place after the global financial crisis and was laid out as at least six years ago. They are now implementing that plan under our very noses, and hardly anyone is paying attention to this. It is frustrating, and that frustration is encapsulated in tweets like this one that I retweeted recently, talking about how people are distracted by celebrity gossip or the meaningless sideshow selection circus when there are very significant things happening in Syria right now. But 
at least as important as the things happening in Syria right now, perhaps potentially in the bigger picture, much more important in the flow of human history are the things that are taking place in the monetary realm right now. And they are not sexy. Everyone wants to talk about Brad and Angelina or the selection circus. It's fun. It's entertaining. It's interesting. This is exceptionally boring and involves a lot of jargon and it requires a bit of reading, but I... I guarantee you it is worth the effort to read through this. And if you do read through this article, and if you do appreciate it, please help to spread the word about this. Again, I was struck as I was going through and writing this article once again, just how integral these moves are to the construction of global government. You need a global tax grid and a global uh, agency of some sort that able to administer a global tax. But another leg of that global government absolutely will be a global monetary regime. And that will be administered by a global body like the IMF, like the uh, using the SDRs as a potential instrument. And it will look like your local currency, but it will be administered from behind the scenes by the central bankers. Usually, probably 99% of the population won't have any clue what is going on or how the monetary order is being engineered. This is truly world historical stuff that's happening right now. And we've seen it happen before. We saw Bread and Woods and we saw the system that came in. And once what system comes in to sweep away the old, that is, of course, how every aspect of this global government is going to be brought into effect. They're going to take the old systems. They're going to make a, a, take them to a breaking point. And then once that breaking point is reached and there's a crisis, they'll say, hey, look, we have the solution and here it is. We've seen this before. We'll see it again. It's a time-tested trick, and it can only work if we are ignorant of it and not prepared for their deception and their created crises. So, I again, I urge you, please do take a look at this article. Please do spread it to others. This is actually my subscriber editorial, but I'm putting this open to the public this week so that you can please help spread this information.